Okay, here I am again. This is looking over my shoulder while I'm playing. I have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 high cut points. At this point, I stop and evaluate my hand. Even though I have 20 high cut points, my king and my queen and jack of diamonds are pretty vulnerable. So I would be cautious, and some players would in fact bid two no trump here. I will be cautious a little bit about bidding two no trump because two no trump, uh, you don't have much bidding room before you run out of bidding room, right? So on the other hand, if I bid one spade, which is the other possible bid, okay, there is a chance that my partner will pass. So to recap, I have a choice between two no trump or one spade. For beginners, we frequently teach that you do not open two no trump with a five card major. For most experienced players, they will open two no trump with a five card major, mainly because of the risk that partner will pass your one level opening bid. So this is actually not a super easy decision to make. And sometimes your partner will berate you for quote unquote, making the wrong decision. <laughs> so here, I'm gonna take a chance and bid two no trump. Why would I do that? Well, it's true that your queen jack is rather vulnerable, but if I were to bid two no trump, first of all, your partner, my partner, may actually have some coverage in diamonds. And all I need from my partner is a 10 XX, really. With a 10, 10 spot and me with a queen jack, we definitely have one stopper in diamonds, okay? So, and by bidding two no trump, uh, your opponents may not have a clear idea of what suit to lead in the opening lead. So they may not even lead diamonds, they could lead something else. And if they lead something else, if they lead spades, just nice, you might catch their queen of spades, all right? And uh, your hearts is a decent four color suit headed by the queen, all right? So it's not too bad. The other advantage of bidding two no trunk is of course that it is a very tight description of your hand to partner. Partner knows what he or she can do with your two no trunk, bid the game or not. Okay, so overall, I think I would prefer to bid two no trunk. Let's try it. And partner has completed it with a three no trunk. That implies partner without even opening without even knowing what dummy has right now, that implies partner has three or less spades, three or less uh, hearts. So chances are good, partner actually has coverage for my minors. Let's see. And a five of clubs is led. Okay, uh, partner only has four high cut points and a really long diamond suit. I could be in trouble here because uh, we are playing in no trumps, right? And, and I have queen jack here. So the king is missing and there's a risk that I'll be stranded here. My, eight, my long diamond suit will be stranded. So I've got to be really careful at first glance, okay? So looks like the critical thing here is to look after my diamond suit. My hard suit is also pretty critical in the sense that um, it's quite vulnerable, all right, if I'm not careful. So if the hard suit is played at all, um, I'll have to try to be careful to 
duck in an appropriate way or to guide uh, opponents to the more beneficial side. For example, if I were playing other than a uh, diamond suit, and for example, you were to play a, a spade suit, it's definitely beneficial for me to try a finesse with a jack or 10 so that the if even if I lose to opponent, they have to lead to this side and uh, it's better for my heart suit that they lead from here. All right? There's nothing much I can do with the club suit, so don't touch it. Opponents will get to it eventually. There's no need to touch it at all. Okay, so to summarize, spade suit uh, is good to try a finesse if uh, given a chance, uh, even though it's 50 50 percent, because even if lost, you will lose to uh, West, a better side. Uh, the hard suit, I have to hope for the best. The club suit, just hold on, do nothing, uh, lay passive. And the diamond suit looks really good, but the danger is that the king might not come out. So how many diamonds do I have? I have seven diamonds here, eight, nine. So if I'm thinking right now, you see, can you see how long I'm thinking about this opening play? So if I'm if I'm lucky, opponents are split two two, or the king is a singleton, or the king is in west, and if I lead down one of these cards, a queen, uh, west will try to cover it. So overall, I would say it's a better than fifty percent chance I can catch the king. So. If I can catch the king, then I would say that these seven cards are all good. Eight, nine, 10, 11. I have 11 tricks. So let's, let's give it a go. Okay. This is the critical play, really. All right. So what do I do? I really um, have no choice right now to try to finesse. Great. So four cards of diamonds are out. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So they have two more diamonds. So you have to be careful here. There are only two more diamonds left. So if I next play the diamond suit, I should cross over and overtake with my ace if I get a chance. And the reason being now my opponent has played the king. Oops. So I play low. Well, I'm in luck. My opponent has both high cuts. Okay. If you've been counting, right, you have seven diamonds out, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And this is good, right? And I don't even need to do a spade finesse, really. Okay. So I have three, no trump plus one. Let's see what the double dummy analysis says. Well, <laughs> it actually says I only have two no trump. So I basically went one better by uh, two better by making three no trump plus one. All right. Uh, it says that I actually had a diamond contract, but just because the double dummy analysis says you can make a, a, a diamond contract doesn't mean that uh, you would bid the diamond contract in slam. All right. So right now, this six diamond. Uh, contract, I would take it as simply advisory, all right? Uh, theoretically possible, but you would not ever be there. So in this case, uh, double dominant analysis says two no trump is the right contract, and I had three no trump plus two, primarily, primarily because I was able to make good use of the diamond suit. Uh, 